Honey Badger here, just checking in. We've got the next project here. I'm gonna walk you through it, show you what I got. We're gonna walk through it and see what needs to get done with it. We'll go through it systematically like I did with the motorcycle, as I did with the snowblower. Spring is starting to show up around the corner here, so I wanna get this thing ready before spring. Get this in the garage, get the snowblower out, and we'll go from there. Speaking of snowblower, as soon as that shows it's not gonna be any more snow on the ground, we're gonna go back to that snowblower and get some fresh paint on that thing and kind of freshen it up, make her look pretty before I put it in the shed for the summer. Alrighty, let me walk you through it. Alrighty, here's the duct tape special of the week. Got a big old flat tire, got a bunch of duct tape on here. It's, at least it's John Deere green duct tape, you know, uh, and it matches the black, so they tried to go with that. So. Just picked up from guy, he bought it off at a state auction. He didn't have a clue how to fix things. So he just tried to flip it real quick. He was worried about the flat tire and things missing. And look at that, you got some bailing wire over there holding on this rod. So overall, this lawnmower is in pretty good shape. It needs a little bit of TLC. So what we'll do is we'll try to figure out how this thing works. We'll try to do this on the channel. I don't know how to get in here. Maybe it's all duct taped down. The hood's duct taped down. Here we go. Oh, I'm not sure how to get in. I don't want to break it anymore. These things are kind of expensive. Uh, you can replace some of this stuff. And we're gonna we're gonna fix this thing. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. Got some wiring going on here. We'll figure it out. It does run. Uh, the guy drove it off the truck that he brought it with. That's a good thing. Let's see what we can do here. All right, let's see if we can start this thing. Okay, I thought I'd give you a little bit of insight of how I started with this project and how I went about it. First of all, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I looked at Craigslist and all that sort of stuff, but it seems like today Facebook Marketplace is where I'm finding the best deals. I had a budget of right around $500. I didn't want to spend any more than that, so I typed in $500 local pickup within my home area and just started digging through it, finding through things, looking for through things. So let's, let's grab this first one here, $100. Doesn't run, you load, you haul, no trades, etc. You kind of look at this, you know, it's been beat up, it doesn't have a steering wheel, you know, it's got some type of an older seat on it, it's been put on there by somebody else. You know, I think I might pass. All right, let's, let's spend a little bit more money. Let's keep going here. Oh, well, let's see here. $400, you see what this looks like. I'm selling it, runs, drives, mows good, looking up for an upgrade. Okay, well, you know, it needs a new hood right there. It's not looking good there. You kind of look right here, you know there's some belts missing right there. So runs and drives and mows good. Well, mows good is kind of hard to do when you don't have any belts. So, you know, you got to question, is this person really serious about this? It may work. You might run down there and see how it's going. But for $400, you tell it it mows good. Well, you can look in this picture right here. It doesn't have a belt. So... I'm a little suspicious. All right, let's keep moving on. Okay, here's a 351. All right, well, this one look, doesn't look too bad. It's missing a hood, but overall, it looks in pretty good shape. Good rider needs battery. Okay, well, that's probably true. It's got a battery in there. It makes sense. You know there's something missing here. It's probably not supposed to be open that way. And then I bet that that fuel line is not supposed to be dropping down right there as well. So you start digging around, looking through things. Now, all these are not a big deal to fix some of this stuff, but you just want to see what the accuracy of this stuff is. Okay, now let's look at the pictures that I had when I looked on my Facebook Marketplace and found this project that I currently have. Walking through, I have a hood that needs to be replaced. It's got duct tape on it. We have a seat that needs to be replaced. Not a big deal. Nothing too along the side there. You can see anything. There's a headlight that's broken. There's the flat tire he's in about. So, you know, there's a little bit there. He says it runs and drives. 
for the price. I want to keep that hidden until it's all said and done. I think you guys are going to be shocked. But for the price, I know that I can do some work to this and spend a little bit more money on it and get it running and have a nice tractor. fancy duct tape. Alrighty, we got the John Deere in the garage. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna start digging around, see what's going on with this thing, see what kind of TLC it needs. But you can see it's got good tires on it. Even the one that's flat has a lot of tread on it. So we're gonna figure out what's going on with that. See what's there. The rear ones are good. There's a brand new on the front here. And uh, you know, there's tread there. The deck doesn't look too bad. The only thing is, I'm not sure what's going on with this thing, why this thing collapsed, but we'll figure that out. We'll uh, get online, get ourselves a manual, and figure out what's going on with that. Get yourselves a new seat, get some parts ordered. I'll start digging around, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, I got the duct tape hood off. Trying to dig around underneath the hood here. It's actually looking pretty good. Not looking too bad underneath here. It looks like it's had some TLC. The battery doesn't look too nasty. It's not too corroded. All that sort of stuff. The oil, I did check that. That's a little, uh, that's right at the low mark, but we can fix that. We can add a little oil. We'll do an oil change anyways. But look at that. That official John Deere tractor. All right. We got all these information here. We got the model, all our stuff. That's a Kawasaki engine, actually. We kind of go from there. Not looking too bad. It's got the electric start. You usually heard that. The big old flat tire and that juice just dribbling out of the bottom is somebody put some flat fix in there. You don't ever want to do that. You just don't do that. Coming on over here, um, you know, estate sales can be a pretty good deal because it looks like the, whoever owned this before did a, try to do a pretty good job of fixing it. You can see the fuel's in good shape. You know, it looks nice and clean here. Looks like it's probably replaced the filter there. There's some type of sensor that's been replaced. There's a stray, uh, stray wire. We're not sure where that goes, but uh, we'll figure that out. Other than that, not looking too bad in here. Besides a little hood ornament, the lack of hood ornament, we are doing not too bad. The old duct tape was covering up the fact that I think the, uh, the mounting brackets here were broken and not sure what's going on with this. So we have to figure that out. I did a little interweb research to figure out what was going on with this hood. They are available. They're not exactly the cheapest thing, so we'll see what we can do with that. We'll have to do some research on this steering right here. And as you can see, we got some really tight steering. Woo. I'll just move this here and it's not moving very well. So we got to figure out what's going on with that. Not too bad. Overall, I would say I'm really happy with this purchase. I'll reveal the price of this when I'm all said and done. If you guys got any uh, guesses on what I pay for this, leave in the comment section below. What we'll do is we're gonna get ourselves a manual and figure out what's going on with this. Now I went and found an LX176 John Deere and now I did a re internet research. I'm like, okay, well, I know I need new hood, probably a new seat, and uh, I was kind of seeing what the prices were for batteries and all right, other sources of manuals is on manual, EM manual online. You can go to look for manuals there, go to John Deere and then it's LX series, grab that. And then I know I can get a manual for LX176 for $22. So that's a little bit of research, kind of figure out what things are gonna cost. So you make sure major ticket items, make sure you're not gonna get into something really crazy, expensive, that don't has any parts available. You want to make sure that parts are available. I mean, just look at this older one. It's you know, it's got a little bent hood. It's a little older style. So you got to question yourself: How many parts are available, or are they easily available? So you want to buy something a little newer if you can. I mean, if you want to repair something and rebuild it and restore it, that's a total different thing. That would be this would be a cool tractor to rebuild and restore. But if you just want a tractor to get going and mow the lawn and just have as everyday workhorse. Probably not going to go after this, but if you want something to restore and have a really cool older looking something, this is a really cool item here. You guys saw the awesome lawn tractor I got? We'll reveal the price when it's all said and done, but if you guys have any guesses, put it down below in the comment sections. Hit the like button if you like this project. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see me continue on with this project. And hit the bell thing so you guys know when the next thing comes out. 
This is a little bit short episode today, but I want to do some research, get going, do a little bit of internet web research like I've sold you guys and showed you guys how to do that stuff. We'll do that, get some parts in order, start digging into this thing. Alrighty, talk to you later.